everybody, it's Harry Mann. It's time for a car convo, and we are in Berwick. We are at Ken Pollock Ford Lincoln, and we are here, our very first one, with the head bulldog himself, Frank Shep Talk with the Bulldogs. How you doing, Coach? I'm doing well today. How about yourself? I'm doing fantastic, and pretty soon we're going to take a ride in this beautiful Ford F-150 crew cab truck, a 2018. So we're going to get in here in just a minute after we tell you about Drew. Drew here from Ken Pollock Ford Lincoln is going to tell us all about this 2018 Ford truck. This truck has best-in-class payload, best-in-class towing. With our new military-grade aluminum body, you have up to 700 pounds greater power-to-weight ratio, which is in something that enhances your fuel economy. This truck has a lot of technical features. Sync Connect powered by Ford Pass Bliss, which is a cross-traffic alert that is good for both the truck and the trailer. Pre-collision assist, lane keeping systems, adaptive cruise control, and start and stop. So I would like to invite everyone to come down and test drive this vehicle. Now it's a pretty young team. I know you mentioned before 18 seniors graduated last year off the Bulldogs. Uh, it's got to be an interesting thing to see the new talent develop. Well that's one of the neat things about coaching. You know, each team is you know, it's, its own entity and you know, trying to figure out what's the dynamic, who are the leaders, what's the culture of the group and you know, that part is one of the most exciting things as you see different teams start to gel and you try to bring out their, their strength and what their personality is. What is so special about high school football, especially in Berwick, places like Mount Carmel, basically in all of eastern Pennsylvania? Well, I think it's such a community-based thing. You look at our program here at Berwick and when I played at Mount Carmel, you know, that the community embraces the program and you know, the community wants to be involved. And whenever you have that and, and you have the success of, you know, whether it's uh, Berwick or Mount Carmel, those types of programs that people want to identify with that. So the boosters are extremely supportive. The 12th man has done you know, such a wonderful job in you know, helping us make this program special. The program just achieved its 800th win uh, last Friday night. Uh, there's only 11 schools in the, in the United States that have over 800 wins. You know, unfortunately, I'm, I, I'm enough to be part of both of them because we had the one here at uh, Berwick winning last week at Wyoming area and then you know, Mount Carmel is one of the other ones which I had the, the, the privilege of playing there you know, during my high school years. Other than the wins, uh, what's the biggest thing you get out of, of coaching? Is it the shaping of the young men? There's no question because you're trying to make a difference for a young man. You're trying to teach him through football and, and operating as a team about how to live his life, about values and decision making and putting himself in position to be successful, work ethic, attitude things that they can control and you're trying to utilize that to give them some advantages as they move forward and you know for me that's always been you know the neatest thing as a coach when when you see them whether it's getting something on the field or in life and you're like you know I'm so proud of you and you look them in the eye and you know because you've been preaching to them that you believe in them and you're passionate with them and then to see them achieve, you know, it's a very rewarding experience, I think, is one of the best parts of coaching. But we're 3-0, and and hopefully we can keep this run that we're on a little bit, and, you know, but we got some challenging things on the schedule coming up, and again, as a young team, you really got to stay on, because you never want to get them to the point where they're taking winning for granted or just think it's going to occur. They've worked very hard, and then you're just trying to remind them of that all the time. All right, well, we're about to head back into Ken Pollock Ford Lincoln on Front Street in Berwick. Uh, Coach Frank Sheptock, continued success with the Bulldogs, and thanks so much for taking some time for our car convo here on Bigfoot Country. Hey, anytime we're going to go for a ride in this new 2018, you know, classic rig here with, with uh, you know, all kind of uh, accessories, you know, just give me a call and we'll be happy to go for another ride with you. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Coach.